Okay, so if you're taking any sort of algebra course, this should be an easy question. And the question is, what is the slope of the line? So here we have a two variable linear equation, but basically you can think of this as a line that you could graph on the x, y coordinate plane. Now, uh, the question, of course, is what is the slope? So you don't need to graph this line to determine what the slope is. It's, there's a pretty easy approach you could take, but I don't want to give you too many hints here because I want to give you an opportunity to answer this all on your own. So if you think you know the slope of this line, go ahead and put your answer into the comments section. I'm actually going to show you the correct result or the solution uh, to this problem in just one second, and then I'm going to walk through step by step a nice easy way for you to uh, determine the slope of this line. Again, this is a very important topic that all of you out there uh, taking algebra, and I'm talking about courses like pre-algebra, algebra one, certainly algebra two, you'd absolutely need to know a lot about lines. But anyways, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. Really, it's my true passion to help people learn mathematics. And I'm going to tell you right now, all of you can be successful in math. And I'm especially speaking to those of you that have a tough time with math. Listen, please don't give up. Even if you failed a math course in the past or if you're struggling with math right now, there's absolute hope for you. Not only can you pass your course, but you could do very, very well. You could end up with like an A in your math course. But let me tell you the three things you need. One, uh, the first thing you need to, um, to be successful in math is you need to work hard. Okay, There is no shortcuts in learning mathematics. So if you're looking for like an easy shortcut way to, uh, to do well in math, there, it just doesn't exist. So you need to work hard. The second thing you need is encouragement. And this is especially important. For those of you out there that are struggling in math, you need to kind of have some reassurance that if you do work hard, that it's actually going to pay off. And I'm telling you, it is. But you need this third component. And what you need really to be successful in math is great math instruction. So whoever you're learning from or whatever you're learning from, if you don't understand the instruction, then it's kind of like a waste of time, right? And that's where math becomes frustrating for a lot of you. You're like, oh, I'm listening to this person or I'm um, watching this video and I totally don't understand what's going on. Well, you know, of course, that's not going to end uh, well in terms of learning mathematics. The way I like to uh, teach math, because math is a very tech technical subject, I like to teach math in a way that everyone can get it. I like to explain complicated things and make them easy without watering things down. And the way I can do that, or the, you know, why I can do that, is because I've been teaching for years and years and years and years. You basically develop a lot of experience in communication. So if you need help in your current math course, or maybe some sort of special test that you're preparing for, something like uh, the GED, SAT, ACT, or teacher certification exam, something that has math on it, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different math courses that span these categories and much, much more. I'm also going to leave links to my math notes in the description as well. Taking great math notes is critical uh, to your success in math. So improve your notes. A lot of you out there aren't even taking notes. So just start taking notes. It is a skill, but over time you will get better. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the slope of this line. We have 2y is equal to 3x minus 6. What is the slope? Well, here it is. The slope of this line is equal to 3 halves. That is the answer. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, hey, that's really, really good. Matter of fact, definitely good enough for a nice little happy face and A plus, A 100%. And let's throw on some nice stars. And of course, if this was a nice quiz or test that you took, I'd just plaster these stars right on your uh, test and be like, hey, awesome job. Uh, it looks like you know a little bit about the slope of a line. Okay, so uh, what is the slope? Well, that's a whole nother discussion in and of itself, but let's just quickly, quickly review some basic concepts. And um, again, you know, you're going to need to know a lot about linear equations, how to graph lines, how to find the equations, the equations of lines, etc. Basically, if you uh, graph a line, okay, so here is a line has an angle to it. Okay, the angle to this line here is called the slope. And it's often indicated by this little variable m, but basically it represents the rise over the run 
of a line, okay? So it's just some sort of way to define the steepness of a slope. Now, if you need to know about, uh, you know, if you're kind of lost with the slope and graphing lines, et cetera, well, this is a huge topic. There's no way I could teach you everything in this one little video. So a couple of quick, uh, quick suggestions. If you happen to be in at the pre-algebra level, I would strongly suggest checking out my pre-algebra course or Algebra 1 course, if you're at that level, I have complete, full, thorough instruction, not only on the slope, but all these uh, related topics that you need to know about. Okay, but anyways, this is basically what we're looking for. We're looking for uh, the slope of this particular line right here, 2y uh, is equal to 3x minus 6, okay? All right, so how can we find the slope easily? Well, here's what we want to do. So this uh, linear equation, okay, now if you just hear what I just said, a linear equation, and I'll just uh, spell that out because you're going to hear this word a lot, a linear, look, what's, what's the root word of this word? Well, it's line. So a linear equation is a line equation, i.e., this equation right here represents a line graphically speaking. So if I told you to graph the line, well, there's a couple different uh, techniques you can use, but basically the easiest way to uh, determine what the slope of this line is to kind of rewrite this line from this form into a better form. And the easiest form that we uh, love to work with linear equations uh, with is y equals mx plus b. Probably a lot of you out there know what this is or have seen this, y equals mx plus b. This is so, so easy to graph lines and determine information about the, uh, a particular linear equation because here, well, once we have a line in this form, this m value right here is the slope, okay? So that's what we want to do. We simply want to go ahead and rewrite this equation like this, and then we could just look at this number in front of whatever the x is. So the number in front of the x is going to be the slope, and of course that will be the answer. This b right here happens to be something called the y-intercept. Hopefully this is familiar to you. If you're like, you know, looking at this and you're just like, you know, kind of sad saying, I totally don't understand any of this. Well, that's a good indication that you need to review and kind of learn uh, the basics of slope and build up your skills uh, in this area. But no big deal. Let's go ahead and continue with the problem. All right. So the objective here is to write this equation into y equals mx plus b form. But basically here, this is pretty close, and we want y. Here we have 2y is equal to 3x minus a number, okay? What we need to do is get that y by itself. So effectively what we need to do is solve for y. Okay, we have 2y, we just want y by itself. So how can we do this? Well, this is quite easy. All we need to do, let me go ahead and just uh, erase this so we can kind of concentrate here. So to get y by itself, if I have a 2y right here, all I need to do is simply divide the, uh, the entire equation, each term of the equation, by 2. So let's go and divide everything by 2 because 2 divided by 2 will give me 1y or y, and that's my objective. But remember, in algebra, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the uh, other side as well. So we're going to divide everything by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1 or 1y or y. So 3 divided by 2 is, of course, 3 halves x minus 6 divided by 2 is 3. Okay, so what we just did here is uh, took this linear equation and just wrote it into y equals mx plus b form. This is what we call the slope-intercept form of the line. But the whole idea here is that once you have this line in y equals mx plus b form or slope intercept uh, form, the uh, number okay, in front of the x, the coefficient in front of the x is in fact the slope. So this is super easy. I'm like, hey, what's the slope of this line? Well, it's this value right here because this line or this linear equation is in slope intercept form or y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so that is how you determine the slope of... Um, you know, this type of uh, problem right here. There's other formulas for the slope, but I would suggest to you, anytime you're trying to determine the slope, always be thinking, hey, let me just go ahead and put that linear equation in y equals mx plus b form, and then you can just identify the m. All right, so again, if you're kind of like lost 
uh, with this topic. And by the way, slope, there's a lot of uh, different type of questions with uh, slope that you need to know in pre-algebra, algebra one, certainly algebra two. This is not going to go away. As you continue to learn mathematics, you're going to keep learning more and more and more about the slope. Matter of fact, the slope, interesting enough, is actually a big deal in calculus. In calculus, uh, we talk about something called the derivative. Uh, the first derivative has to do with the slope. So again, the slope is not going to go away. You need to know a lot about this topic. But anyways, hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.